try to get into the line of the ball with your head. Head is the key. Key to batting. Give me a hit. In a great position. Get your eyes close to the ball. Read the ball. See the ball. Make a decision. So when we are talking about batting, it means we are talking about scoring runs. And to be able to score runs against all sort of bowlings, against different fields placement, it's really important that you are strong in your techniques and you're also very strong mentally to counter anything thrown at you from opposition. So to do that, it's really important to understand these basic batting tips, which can help you to be more effective and more positive when you are going there to bat. It's really important that you have a really good balanced position where your stance is not very narrow or not too wide. So you are standing into position when your shoulder weight, it's really important that you feel your weight on your hip. So you sit on your hip, slightly bend your knees, and then you transfer slowly towards your front shoulder and your front knee. That's your balanced position. You're sitting on your hip, weight in your knees, and then you slightly move forward. So you put your two V's in the line in the middle of the back. So that's your grip. Now what you do is that you lock both of your wrists. Now what does locking the wrist mean? So, so at the moment, my wrists are not locked, they are relaxed. So if you see my left wrist, this is not locked. But if I do that, that's locked. When I lock my wrist, that's the position I am and that's what you need to do. You have to lift the bat, this is unlocked, now they are locked and then you will have control on your back. So you nice strong back lift. That's the third point. Your back lift is something which generate power. And the fourth point is your head position. Eyes level is still head. Now that's the key. In all of my videos when I'm talking about batting, the most important part which I've always tried to focus on is head. Head is something which should be leading every time when you're facing the ball. So it's still head, eyes level. That's level eyes. That is not level eyes when you are in this position or that is not level eyes. Eyes level. So every time when you reach to the ball, you will be watching the ball much better. Now, try to have a trigger movement. It could be either hands, it could be your feet movement, but it's really important to have a trigger movement. Trigger movement gives you a little extra time to be ready to face the ball. So lots of people have back and across trigger movement. Some people have their hands going up and down and as they are about to face the ball their hands go up the reason why i trigger is to give myself that split second of an opportunity to get myself into line and also read length and be in a position to strike when the bowler delivers the ball so different people have different trigger movement but it's really important to have one everyone thinks oh i'm watching the ball but sometime you're not watching the ball because you're watching the ball from the bowler's hand when he released the ball and then you lose it on its way getting to you so the point is you watch from their hand and then you commit to your shot and then you do not watch it all the way what i tell some of my students you watch the ball and then you watch it where it bounces. so you are watching from his hand and then trying to see where it bounced start doing that and then you'll see a massive difference that how well you start watching the ball just focus on where the ball bounced it will make you watch the ball for longer period of time and it will also stop you to go hard at the ball because you are trying to watch the ball where it bounces. it will make you play late like Kane Williamson like one of the video I've done about how to play swing ball watch the ball where it bounces. that will make you watch the ball much better pick the length as quick as possible and that is the difference between Rohit Sharma and an ordinary player Rohit Sharma will have always so much time why because probably he picks the length quicker than anyone else so there are so many international players but when rohit playing it always looks like he's got so much time to it commit to any shot either it's a front foot short it's a back foot short you need to pick the length try to get into the line of the ball with your head head is the key now 
what it will do it will get you closer to the ball and then you most of the time you'll be hitting the ball under your eyes rather than away from your body so the key to batting is getting your head in a great position get your eyes close to the ball read the ball see the ball make a decision most of the problem comes to the batters when they are hitting away from their body so follow the line of the ball with your head and then play the shot after that it's really important that you're hitting the ball into the gaps so when you are walking to the pitch don't look where the fielders are look where the gaps are and that is the sign of a positive player they are not looking for fielder and scared of them they are always looking where the gaps are i pick where i want to score runs i'm here to score runs i'm not here to pick out fielders so they can hit the shot into the gap that will give you value for your shots so your approach has to be positive you are always looking for a scoring option you are always looking for gaps to score runs after having all the techniques it's really important that tactically you are also smart and you're looking to score runs into the gaps so rather than you hitting beautiful shots all going to the fielders you're hitting those shots into the gaps so you can get value for your shots what ordinary players do they play a beautiful shot and they admire their shot and they are still into that zone of playing the shot what great players do effective players do what they do they play the shot they switch off from the shot and straight away they switch on for running they look if there's an opportunity to score runs they have ability to switch on and switch off and then from switch off to switch on better and quicker than ordinary players so the point is playing your shots but after that you should be well aware if there's a run or if there's no run or can i turn that one into two can i get this half a run into one run all of those points are really important guys if you want to be effective and good players start thinking like this start batting like that and i'm sure you will be more successful if you like this video hit the like button and subscribe the channel if you haven't subscribed because i'll be coming soon with more useful tips and more useful videos for you guys so keep watching cricket with nav and i'll see you very soon